well hello friends i know you have been waiting patiently to see how this entire back end and front end project link with each other so i'm going to show you in this video how to do that so i'm going to go to our eclipse ide so we have our this front end project named as online shopping and our back end project so inside your back end project pom.xml file which i've already opened you can see there is three things group id artifact id and version so for adding any dependency we have been using this thing so i'm going to copy it open my pom.xml of the front end project and i'm going to add the dependency so here i'm going to say how to link can project and i'm going to open up a dependency element and i'm going to paste it here so this is how you're going to link your back end project with the front end project once you save it you can verify it by going to libraries maven dependency so this shopping backend project has been added here so this is the first step that we need to do now i'm going to use the dependency injection feature of spring framework by auto wiring the class which implements the do interface so in our previous video i have shown how to create our category do impl and i am going to auto wire that class in our front end project so we require that category in our home that is been displayed here inside home this category so i'm going to pass it so how to pass that thing so for passing that thing i'm going to first of all open our page controller inside here i'm going to auto wire that category do so i'm going to use the annotation at the rate auto wire i'm going to keep it private category do category dao it will be the name now if you annotated this category do interface here as auto wire so here i am using the auto wiring feature of spring framework that is the dependency injection so we don't have to use any new keyword to instantiate a class of category do impl i am telling spring to manage that thing for me by using this at the rate auto wire annotation once it is done i am going to pass that list of category that we have created in our backend project so i am going to do mv dot add object and i'm going to name it as say categories i'm going to say this category do dot list okay but how to let spring know that that category do impl will be managed by spring framework so for doing that we are going to use another annotation so that's what i've written in our third step I'm going to use at the rate repository annotation, which is a marker for class specifying specifying that it is going to fulfill the role of data access object. Okay, so for that I'm going to use that at the rate repository annotation in my category do impl. I'm going to open our category do impl in the backend project. Here the class will be marked with at the rate repository, and the name. for the repository i'm going to give it as category do which will be the same name as the object name that i've given in the page controller and i'm going to save it now it is going to show me an error that this repository could not be found because i have not added that spring dependency in our backend project so we need to add that spring dependency in our backend project so the version that we are using for our spring framework is 4.3.6 dot release so i'm going to copy this from our front end project to our back end project properties which is already been created here and the framework the sub framework that we are going to use would be context so let me quickly take this spring framework open our shopping packet form.xml file and here also i'm going to add that spring framework but instead of web mvc i require only context and save it once you save it you can verify by opening this maven dependency as and when your workspace get built all the dependencies would be added here so here it has been added now inside your category do impl if i do a control shift o so 
with that repository annotation has been added from the spring framework stereotype so I'm gonna save it once it is saved I'm going to modify the user interface to access the category in the sidebar so for doing that I'm going to open our home.jsp so this is where our category is there so I'm going to copy it and I'm going to create another file inside shared file and I'm going to call it as sidebar dot JSP and I'm going to paste it here uh, so I have closed this div so let me quickly format it so once it is formatted So I've created this sidebar.jsp inside our shared. I'm going to include this file in our home.jsp. So let me quickly include it. Shared sidebar.jsp. But this category needs to be filled from the category list that we are sending. So for that I'm going to use a C for each element so that I can iterate through the collection which is coming inside the model so items equal to dollar categories and every category I'm going to assign it as an identifier as category so this is what we have done and out so this loop is going to iterate the number of categories I have so I'm gonna use only one here and I'm gonna remove this thing and instead of this category one it would be an EL expression here using our dollar and I'm gonna say category dot name because I want to display the name so this is how you're going to modify your interface now I'm gonna quickly refresh it because it is going to throw me an error okay so I have got this error this is the most common error that you will find that unsatisfied dependency exception has been come so your page controller is not able to find this category DO so why it is not able to find that category DO because I have not added it in my context of the front-end project because what the front-end project is doing it is scanning all the components so it is scanning your controller component that we have done in our dispatcher servlet so if I open this dispatcher servlet so you can see we have seen where it can comp scan the component so the base package given is online shopping dot controller so we need to add one more here so this time we would be adding for our backend project so I am going to say shop shopping backend and instead of controller it would be our DAO IMPL so that's where it can scan that component and now that repository would be available so once the project gets refreshed which you are going to make sure by restarting your server check the console for any error so now I'm going to do a refresh again after adding that context component scan Let 
let's check the console okay so it is initialization has been completed and you can see we have our categories here that is television mobile and laptop which has been coming from our backend project that we have added last time so let me show you that from where it is coming so it is coming from your category do impl where we added our category as television mobile and laptop that is what we are getting in our front end television mobile and laptop so if we add more categories you can find more categories here so in our fifth step we have solved that problem of our unsatisfied dependency exception now in my next video i'm going to show you how to update the url to dynamically access the page that we have created for view product so we can view the product of that particular category even by clicking here or by clicking here also you can view the all the products so stay tuned for my next video which i'm gonna continue thanks for watching